Hey guys, we've learned ways of attaching surfaces together and um, this is just another way, an alternative way to attach surfaces together and it's called stitching, okay? So um, you can find the stitching menu, go, uh, at, um, go to edit nerves, so you find stitch, then the, you have uh, three options, you've got stitch, surface point, stitch edge 2 and global stitch. So, um, and I've got three layers. We've got um, I've got three layers, and we'll give an example of each and every one of these. Well, I'll show you exactly how to use each and every one of these um, options that we've got on here. So our first um, our first option will be um, okay. Go to Control Vertex. Let's do the same with that one. Then go to um, we'll use we'll use um, the stitch surface point. Okay, so when we do when we go to vertex mode, click that one, click on that one, shift click that point as well. Then stitch surface point. Okay, do do the same process again. Shift click that that those two shift click that that we have got a service point now you can see that this um this thing is joined Okay, it's becoming like one. So, yeah, that's how you use um stitch surface point. But the only disadvantage with this one is uh, is um it takes a long time and it's only practical to use it when um like cleaning up your model or doing final touch-ups here and there. That's the only time you can actually make full use of this actual um, way of uh, attaching surfaces. But there's another way to do it. There's another way to attach surfaces, which is, um, let's uh, go back to this one, which is stitching edge, using the stitch edge tool. That's another way of stitching surfaces. So I'm going to um, select, uh, deselect the, that one and select uh, the second layer. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to attach these surfaces, okay? So, go to Edit Nerves, Stitch, Stitch Edge 2, and just, sti you don't need to press the Shift key, just bang, bang, that's it. And if you've noticed, there's a little zipper on top that you can use to, um, to tell your, your software where to start and where, where to stop stitching, okay? you be able to tell where to, where to start from and where to stop. So when you do that one, enter. Do the same thing again. Recent commands, stitch H2, bang, bang, all happy. Enter. Recent commands, stitch H2, bang, bang, enter. Yeah, that's exactly how this works. So as you can see, this is far much quicker way of um, of working, and um, and it's more practical when doing other things. You know, so you wouldn't use this um, way to tidy up little bits and pieces because it would just uh, take forever. As a, like it wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be practical. It would be quick, but it wouldn't be as accurate, and it wouldn't be as neat. So what you want is neat work, neat work. So. And again, we've got zippers. We've got zippers to tell where to start and where to stop. So yeah, that's our cool, um, cool way of um, attaching uh, surfaces. So another one is uh, let's just turn this off, and I'll turn this. Uh -oh. Okay, let's turn this off. Make sure you press enter. Turn that one off. Bring that one in. Now this is pretty much a sphere. We 
it's, it was pretty much a sphere. We cut the top, doubled it, um, doubled it, and using the scale to scale it inside, and did a loft, making three surfaces. Okay, so we've got a loft, a, a scale, a scaled, uh, under scaled, and uh, the the original one. So, yeah, three objects. As you can see, we can um, we can actually move the top. Yeah. So what uh, what I want you guys to do is um, if we move this this top, just uh, let's see, bring it as close as you can. Doesn't need to be perfect, but as close as you can. Then you've got the global stitch. Okay, so rubber band select the whole thing, edit nerves stitch global stitch that stitches the whole thing as you can see it stitches the whole thing so see that that's pretty good There's a lot of things you can use to make that it can be like a little bullet if you to do it a few tweaks here and there but anyway guys you get the point and um, what else do I need to tell you? If you go to Edit uh, Nerves, go to Stitch, Global Stitch, click on this little box, it will give you options. Options will include Maximum Separation, which is uh, telling um, the program that whenever, whenever, let's say, whenever the, um, the objects or the faces are within that distance, okay 0 0.1 they should stitch together that's pretty much telling the program that whenever the two surfaces are within that distance they should stick together okay that's uh what that is and um you've got um density you've got all these um options and you can you also have the option to keep the original before you like before you stitch it or whatever so yeah just um again go um play with this one a little bit and uh, learn a bit more but you, you, you'll you be fine with um, exactly what I've taught you and that's all there is to learn as far as stitching is concerned as you can see there's three there's um, three options and we've gone through all of them so that's pretty much all there is to learn and I'm sorry guys I haven't done any to I didn't I haven't done any tutorials for the last week because they were, in Australia they were preparing for the like whatever storm and stuff like that so anyway I'm sure you've heard of it so um yeah don't forget to subscribe rate it comment and um let me know if you need me to improve on anything thank you very much see you in the next tutorial